So when you're doing core strength exercises, do you struggle to actually feel your core working? Stick around for the next few minutes and I'm going to tell you the one thing that most trainers neglect to tell us when we're trying to strengthen our core, that when you start doing this, you will actually start feeling those muscles working. So if we haven't met yet, my name is Alexis. I'm the founder of the Endurance Hub. I'm an avid swimmer, cyclist, Pilates instructor, and trainer. And it is my passion to help other endurance athletes not only strengthen their core, but actually find and activate these muscles by creating a really strong mind-body connection so that they're no longer wasting time wondering, am I doing this right? Or where should I be feeling this? Okay, so back to what I was saying. So lots of trainers just kind of jump into do these exercises. And frankly, the exercises that I teach aren't really that foreign. I mean, they're not that different or special necessarily, but I teach my clients how to do these two things first. Number one is how to find your core. So you have to know what muscles you're actually trying to feel if you want to strengthen them. And it's kind of tricky because our core muscles are really kind of close to our spine. They're deep. And so once we know what they are, then we have to learn how to activate them, meaning we have to create our mind-body connection so that our body will actually use those muscles instead of our bigger, bossier muscles like hip flexors, low back, neck, all that. So how do we do the second thing? How do we activate our core? You know, so if you do something like a bicep curl, it's super easy to activate your bicep because you can see it, you know where it is, and you just go like this, and then you bend your elbow, create some tension, and you contract that muscle. So when we're trying to strengthen a muscle, we're trying to contract it, right? So the way that we contract our core, we can actually do it without even moving. And it's through our breath. So let me explain. Okay, so our core muscles are actually also breathing muscles. So you might notice that if you just place your hands on your stomach and you take a nice inhale, your hands will push outward. And then as you exhale, your hands come back toward you. So that's normal and natural. So what happens when we're breathing is we have this muscle called our diaphragm. So this is the top of our core actually. And when we take an inhale, that diaphragm pushes down and it pushes our abdomen outward. When we exhale, the diaphragm goes back up and our abdominal wall comes back in. So if we're trying to strengthen these muscles, we can't have them constantly going out and in, getting kind of stretched and rebounding, right? That would be like trying to do bicep curls with your bicep constantly moving. We have to learn how to find a steady contraction. So like I said, it's through your breath. And if we leave this out of the equation, you're just moving. So it's totally possible to do an exercise like what we call an upper ab curl, for example, and not feel anything. So if I don't pay attention to my breath and I just, I just go ahead and I lift my head and shoulders, yeah, I'm making the shape of the exercise. I'm feeling a little bit kind of sort of because it's kind of hard for me to do it the wrong way after all these years. But a more powerful way to really find and contract my core is, what am I trying to do when I lift my head and shoulders up? I'm trying to bring my rib cage down toward my hips, I'm flexing my spine, and I'm trying to contract these muscles in the front of the body. So that six pack muscle that runs from the rib cage to the pelvis. I'm also trying to contract my transverse abdominis, which wraps around my body like a wide belt. So I'm trying to contract different muscles that go in different directions. So I need to find a 360 degree contraction. Sounds kind of tricky, but once you know how to do it, it's a, it's, a, it's a game changer. So the way I do it is I take an inhale and then I use my exhale to find that core contraction. So right here, what I'm feeling is that kind of narrowing sensation across the front of the body. My ribs are being pulled down toward my hips by that six pack muscle. And then I set my head down, reset for an inhale, and then exhale. And then also with exercises that involve our obliques, I think about bringing my rib toward the opposite hip. Now, how do I do that? I can just, sure, I can just kind of rotate. I can flop over. Anybody can do that, but that's not an exercise. But instead, if I take my inhale and I use my exhale, to kind of shorten this diagonal line from my rib to my opposite hip. Here I feel that shaky feeling again. And then I set my head down, let's do that again. Okay, so then we can move on to something like a plank, right? So think about if you were coming into a plank and you were trying to, uh, 
engage your core, but you kind of, you have your abdominals going out and in the whole time. You don't have that steady contraction and that support, so same thing. Every time you exhale, you think of shrinking that cylinder. So that when we pop up into that plank, every time I exhale, I'm deepening that contraction of my core. So it takes a little bit of learning. So I've created a whole little mini course just for you about how to activate your core so that you can actually access these muscles and contract them. Because otherwise we're just going through the motions. We're just kind of moving our body and not actually getting stronger. So let me know if you would like that. Send me a message below. Tell me that you want to learn how to breathe properly so you can actually strengthen your core and I will send it right over to you.